Can you hear me? Right? Yes. Yo, what is up, guys? It's Earl Gaming YT. Come back with another Pokemon Duel video, and today I'm going to be starting a uh, series on the channel. It's going to be Road to 3000. I'm at right now 2317. So every single day I'm going to be playing two games for this uh, series, most likely. And I'm going to be probably opening up these boosters and stuff too. And we're going to be working our way up to 3000. Now, obviously, all my games are ooh Jolteon are not going to be on video, but I'll be basically every night recording two games as a road to 3000. And uh, yeah, so we're going to just open up these right here and we're going to get right into the gameplay. Uh, let's see what this blue one has to offer. Cypher, and Ignat, and a rare. And this last one. Beedrill, Ignat. Okay. So a bunch of crap there, but uh, we're going to get right into this first game here. As we are connecting, sweet. Yeah. Just, just, just step over me. Alright, final opponent, and it's a bug bot. Apparently, I lost my last three games. Okay, so this first game is going to be a pretty easy game then. So, I may try to squeeze in a third one then, maybe. This is a. This, this is. Ugh. Usually these guys are really quick and easy. You just gotta. Really. They're battling me. I lost him. Cool. Um. This is probably going to take an extra couple minutes then. <laughs> Just tried to win it quick with Joltik and that did not work, so. Hopefully we do not lose to a bug -a bot. Rainbow. So we're going to move up here. And hopefully... Um, they won't battle me and there we go so first win easy against a bug bot so we'll get into our second game now and see now as quick I'll probably play a third game for this uh, video all right let's start that up real quick that'd be sick if we got man pay for me All right, let's play game number two of three <laughs> for episode one of Road to 3000. And uh, we're going to do three videos, uh, three games today because that first one was a stupid game because apparently I lost the last three games. I forgot, but uh, let's see what they got. They got Jol uh, Jolteon Zapdos, Lenios, Deoxys. Okay. Oho and Umbreon, which is a decent lineup. It's an average lineup that I see. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a win against this guy. Ugh. We'll move our Raikou up here. We'll, this is basically, the, in the beginning, I just set up. And usually, I don't make a, uh, an attack until, like few moves in that's just the way I play I, I'm methodical with my moves um, this guy can move any day if he wants to now um, I like people who do this because then it allows me to play into my strategy more I play a, lot, a little bit more defensive and slower meaning more moves Meaning higher chance for them to time out, which is this is the exact type of players I like to play. The ones that don't that are very slow and I'm able to get to a quick 30 second time advantage 
which right now I have a 33 second time advantage and it's only going to add more here into my advantage as he is a very slow player for some reason. Hopefully he stays that way and I have a pretty high <laughs> time advantage here. But I don't want to make him time out because that's a long boring game honestly sometimes but it's fun when you try to just stop him at the end. But I hate when people take so long in the beginning. Kind of. Not really, actually. But having the time advantage is always helpful. Because it put, puts less stress on you. If you start to lose battles, you can just go back and play defensively. And just prevent them from taking your goal. And hope they time out. Hopefully I won't have to deal with that here. But I do have an over a minute time advantage now, which is... Pretty good, even though it's only three minutes into the game, or less than. So we're going to battle the Oho against Latias. I probably shouldn't have done that until I had two of them dead, because Oho revives both, but oh well. Um, let's see what he does here. Probably going to take 30 seconds before he moves. So... Any day now. He's going to move his Raikou up. And battle my Joltik. I kind of saw that coming. And no effect on him. Electric Thread. No clue what that does, honestly. We're going to move up and battle his Zapdos here. And boom. Just knocked him out. And we may be able to hurdle jump him and bang. That's it for that turn. See what he does. He'll probably move his Oho, battle me or something. Because if he doesn't, I will surround him with my Moltres. Which, that will be good to knock him out. Wow, this is a long game because he's taking forever. <laughs> Alright, he basically blocks the other goal points. So, that makes my game plan a little bit easier. My goal plan, obviously, like everyone else's, is to go take the two entry points and basically suffocate them to where they're trying to battle their way out of it and it just does not work we're going to move Lugia over because Umbreon has three movement points and you don't want the, <laughs> I don't want him to win but uh crap alright um We're going to move Joltik back here to def help Lugio with defense and not get surrounded. Because that's exactly what their game plan is there. They're just going to move him in. and pro Actually, they're probably just going to hold on to my move on my uh, goal point. Which is pretty useless because my heat rank can surprise attack anyway. Right, let's see what they do here. They're battling. Right, hopefully he gets that miss. Yes! Let's go. My Joltik just knocked out his Raikou. Awesome. My Joltik stays in. That gives me the plus one attack. I'm going to threaten the game here with my Raikou. And I don't think there's anything he can do here unless he has goal block, which let me check. He does have goal block, so he'll probably move his defensive Deoxys over to goal block. Or he'll probably move his Zapdos to battle me. And that's my guess. If this guy knows what he's doing. Yep, he's using gold block. He's going to move his Deoxys. And that's exactly what I thought he was going to do. All right. Um, I'm not going to battle that, honestly. I'm going to...
Actually, I'm gonna try it. Dodge. All right, that did nothing. And he's just gonna continue killing his time. I have about two minute time advantage, so I may start playing a little bit more defensive here. Dang it. Um, he just beat my Raikou with his Zapdos. Not what I wanted to do there. But let's see what we can do. We are going to move him out and we're going to put him up against Umbreon. And bang. Got him. So he's going to go back to the... He's dead now. Um, also now I'm able to move my Joltik out and he can possibly go take that movement, uh, the entry point, hopefully. That's my goal here. And I can start my suffocation. But first we're going to have him tack and hopefully either get magma slide or iron and magma slide so he'll push him away here and apparently that did not work don't know why And he's going to go for the strong kill here. So that's why I'm going to have to attack him. And hope for Cyclone. That'll take two. Psych uh, Arrow Blast getting the win there. Awesome. Sending him well, there we, out of the match completely. Awesome. That's, that's awesome. And uh, he'll probably bring out his Oho here. My guess. Because I don't know what else he would do. Really. He's got that in the goal space. Yep. Exactly what I thought. What a long game. So I may. This may be the last game. Because this game is running a little bit long. But uh, hopefully tomorrow I won't play against a bug bot. I did not know. If I knew I was going to be playing up against, up against a bug bot, I wouldn't have recorded that or I wouldn't have done that. So yeah, this is going to be the last game. I'm sorry if you guys were hoping for a third there. Uh, hopefully I'll have two good games for you tomorrow. But this is going to be the last game of this video. And come on, something good. Boom! Joltik coming in clutch this game. So we're going to move Joltik on the goal space now. Now, he's going to have to move his Zapdos, probably. He's probably going to go and attack me. Worst comes to worst, I'll put Moltres on the goal if he knocks out Lugia. Or he's probably going to take all day making his moves. Because he's just moving very slow. I've got about a three, no, two minute, 40 second advantage on him now. And he's probably going to time out soon. If he keeps playing this way. Which, actually, I do not mind getting a nice win here. What was that he just used? Double chance. Come on, Cyclone. Arrow Blast. He's definitely going to respin there. Damn. Alright, so we are going to then goal block with Moltres. Which, that sucks because I was hoping to take his hold both of his entry points but um then we're gonna probably hope to surround Zapdos with Ho-Oh he's actually probably, he only has 35 seconds left so if we can just we're gonna play defensive now 
we're going to see if we can get him to timeout, which shouldn't be that difficult. And now we will surround him with oh ho oh, oh, boom. So now we're just going to play a ton of defense and hope to just get him to timeout, which he has 25 seconds left. So let's hold on here, win this game, and uh, call forfeit win. Sweet. So we just got the win there. Uh, that will be the, this is going to be the end of this video. We are up to 23.56. So that was episode one of uh, Road to 3000. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.